Hi, this is question 4 from the AQA Mechanics 1 June 2013 exam paper. Um, in this question we're given two forces that are acting at a point that have magnitudes of 40 newtons and 70 newtons and we've got an angle of 30 degrees between them. For part A we want to find the magnitude of the resultant of these two forces. Now um, because we're looking for the resultant um, we need to make sure that we put these forces head to tails to each other. Okay, so I'm just going to grab um, this here, and I'm going to grab this one, and we're going to arrange them so they're head to tails like so. Just move it up a little bit. Okay, so um, our resultant force is going to be this force here. Um, black. Okay, that's going to be our resultant force there. Now um, I can label all this up, we've got 40 newtons here and we've got 70 newtons here and as you can see this is the resultant is the addition of these two vectors and the resultant here we're just going to call this F. Okay and um, we also know this angle here, well this here was 30 degrees um, which means this angle here is going to be 30 degrees which means this here is going to be 150 degrees so I'm going to label that in as 150 degrees here right so to find the magnitude of the resultant force well um, because I've got a non right angled triangle here um, I've got two lengths and I know the angle in between so it looks like I'm going to use the cosine rule for this um, so for pi I know that um, using the cosine rule I've got a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared take away 2bc times by the cosine of a um, and I can stick in all the values I know, so A in this case is going to be F, so I can say that F squared is going to be equal to, um, B and C can be either way around, so I'll say 40 squared plus 70 squared take away 2 times 40 times 70 times by the cosine of 150 degrees. Okay, if you um, whack that all into your calculator, um, we should work out that F is going to be equal to 106.535, etc. Um, and to three significant figures, um, F is going to be equal to 107 newtons. Okay, um, so that's a magnitude of the resultant of the two forces. Now for part B, um, we're now asked to find the angle between the resultant force and the 70 newton force so what we're looking for here is we're looking for um, this angle between the 70 newtons and this force here um, so that angle there um, we're going to call it um, we'll call it theta so well in order to work out theta um, I'm going to need to use the sine rule so I've got two things that match here because I know what the force here is and I know this 40 newtons so I can use that to work out um, this theta here now um, when I'm writing the sine rule I, I like to write the unknown um, on the numerator so I'm going to say that sine theta the sine of this angle here over 40 is going to be equal to the sine of 150 divided by F and I'm going to use the more accurate version over here I'm going to use 106.535 ok so I'm using this to reduce the error so um, that means that sine theta is going to be equal to and I can multiply both sides by 40 so that's going to give me 40 sine 150 
here, 106.535. Okay, um, so that means theta is going to be equal to the inverse sine of this calculation here, um, and theta works out to be 10.8 degrees. Okay, I hope you found that useful. I'll see you next time.